And Benjamin Zulu is in the building. Hey. How are you, sir? Good. I like the way you're smart. <laughs> Look like a daughter-in-law. I want to prepare you. I know you're not yet a prepare daughter-in-law. Me. <laughs> I know you're you not. Know, it's, I think it's one of the hardest things. One of the challenges in marriage is to deal I, with I saw in, people bringing you autographed books and yes. some gifts. Yes. Why are they bringing everything except what we need? <laughs> you know, you know, my father is watching. <laughs> okay. My father is watching <laughs> and... But your father should also know I'm preparing you for another life, all right? Yeah, I'm sure he's very <laughs> happy. So now, yeah. we, when you're talking about being a daughter-in-law, yes. we're talking about the common misconceptions and how you can better your succumb, how, uh, how you can have a happy life okay. in that side. That's true. One of the things is you don't have to win two people. Th these girls come here thinking, I want the son, now I have to want the mother, the mm -hmm. father, the family. Don't do it. Let's begin by saying this. Do not expect them to treat you the way they treat him, to love you the way they love him. All right. Mm -hmm. I know the priest told you now you are one. You know whoever comes between you is a death. Never, nobody comes asunder. And you come here with that naivety. Now nah, I'm just as good as your daughter. And you know they call you our daughter. I call yes. they, they invite you. Yes. So do not mistake appearances for reality. All right. Yes. <laughs> so when you arrive here, you have no credit at all. They don't know you. Please. Those Rora show events, those events, they saw you in the midst of all this activity. I mean, of them are trying to figure you out. They're trying, but most importantly, the man in law is trying to see whether you are controllable. And I'm telling you, general rules, whether it's she's of good or the bad type. Yes. <laughs> All right. Remember, one day you'll be a mother-in-law yourself. Mm. So we cannot badmouth mother-in-laws. No, we we ourselves are online to become. We are hoping our children will get married. So then we will become <laughs> the parents-in-law. Yeah. So we are talking human relations with this woman in this position. So number one, begin to understand that you do not have to win them as to win her as a friend. You don't even have to win her to like you. The only thing is respect. We can understand this. Okay. Don't, don't expect people to like you. Liking, love, affection, those emotions are like a butterfly, surely. You can't expect it to come and land on your shoulder. If it comes, you're happy. <laughs> but what you need is respect. How do you win respect? Number one, you want to uh, be firm with your boundaries, all right, without being combative. Okay. All right? Thin line there. <laughs> Very thin. <laughs> you verbalize when your boundary has been crossed. You notice that your husband keeps attending to them first before you. Mm. You notice that she expects you to show up in every family event even if you're busy with your business. Mm. You notice that she expects you to adapt her culture, her way of cooking, her opinions, her views, her church, attend to everywhere she goes. She even, she, you know there are those mothers who list their children in every chama. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> they expect you to send every little money, do this even when you're inconvenienced. They don't mm. want to understand. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so, if you came here naively trying to win her, you will comply to everything. Mikali, you are here to stay. How long can you play that role? No, you can't. You're not visiting. Yeah. You're here to stay. Yes. So what you need to do, to do is to be firm. The, so the first rule is don't try to like, get her to like you or, or love you. You'll, you'll end up being too pleasing, bending too low. And if she's of the toxic type, you'll end up becoming, uh, she's looking for dominance. So she mm. can dominate over you if you're too cooperative. All right? I, and I remember many of them had opinions on who should have been married. That's true. <laughs> and they, they didn't think you were the best. Mm -mm. They're still trying to prove that you are the wrong type. Mm. <laughs> They're still trying to prove that you're the wrong. This is the toxic type. Yes. We have very good mother-in-laws who, 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 who genuinely want to help you do well. But we are saying when you are new, you can't tell. Everybody puts up a good face. Everybody. <laughs> All right? Yes. So you'll have 20 years, let's say, for example, <laughs> or 10, they are not too old and all that. But you're saying in the beginning when you arrive, don't try to win love. Simply res respect by, uh, come with camaraderie. Okay. Willingness to, charminess. On the surface, be pleasant and cautious. Mm. Don't show bad faces. Mm -mm. But don't come too close. <coughs> don't rush to the kitchen to cook for her. Okay. <laughs> when chance comes to cook, cook, surely. But don't do it like impulsively. You have a need to prove. You have a point to prove. All right? <coughs> Sorry. Well, it's not Corona. Don't be scared. Because I'm just over here <laughs> wondering, Zulu, are we okay? While you, while you are away. <laughs> I'll get water when you're on break. Okay. Okay. So we're saying, number one, do not come too quickly to please. But again, don't bend too far. Okay. All right? The second rule is don't interact directly with her. Hmm? Use your husband as a middle person. Okay. Your husband understands them. They know. If you want to keep some chicken together with them, you want to do this, some invest business they bring up. When they're in family meetings, don't voice your opinion. Ah. Don't. Forever and ever, when it's <coughs> beginning. In the beginning. Okay. You'll 
<clears throat> Later on, you become more established. Okay. You will know your place. Yes. Right now, when you arrive, pr probably you don't have a child. And you see how they are treating the children of other people in your position mm. other women married mm. here mm. <laughs> and you know i can't stand this i can't stand that when you give it when people give birth the mother-in-law pitches come there for too long for example or she doesn't show up at all or she has too much to say or they dictate their names or yeah. they interfere this way yeah. or the other way yes. so at this time your initial year one the first year two years be an observer okay be a very keen observer and i think that's the first year where we make all the <coughs> mistakes that's when you get in that's where you want to be seen that's you when you want to be hard possible president that's true so the best position for you michael is much as you you like this person you want to talk to them they will start telling you gossip about the other about the other telling you this mm. pulling you to their side because you look like you're the new one they want you on their side yeah. they just want to know what you're about what you're thinking they don't know what about. they want to find out things families are very uh, inter they interfere and by the time you find your footing then they will feel like it's a betrayal because exactly. now you're moving away from the things that you are already pulled into let me give you another expression for that strong emotions make bad situations worse avoid strong emotions towards anyone too much attraction or too much repulsion maintain camaraderie a good air between us all right Obey Galatians who told you is be at peace with everyone. As if I, it depends on you. Some people it's impossible to be at peace, but on your end, have no beef with them. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. All right? Yes. And, and so we are saying, when it's family meetings or WhatsApp groups, pre preferably don't be added to their WhatsApp groups. Okay. Be added to the one that has also other in-laws. Mm. Not the yes. inside one. Uh -uh. The language they talk inside, you may not even understand it. That's even true. if you come from the same community, every family has a, has a way they talk. And the, 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 the language, the jokes they make, and you may look like you are off. Yes. It's okay, you can be added. If, depending on how big the family is, maybe this is the only son. <laughs> now okay. it is the mother and you. <laughs> it could be a small family. Yes, so there's no other, <laughs> you know, there are no in-laws. So while other factors may make cases to divert a little bit, the principle is maintain your personal space so that people don't, you get, you don't get to know where you stand too mm. much. Mm. All right. I want you to to, to King Louis the Fourteenth. There was a king of uh, France, Louis the Fourteenth, who followed a rule that I I, I find very applicable called um, few words. So people would say things, say things, and it, it's your turn to give an opinion. You say, "We shall see. Let us give it time." <laughs> Annoying. Exactly. <laughs> but works <coughs> because it you're just, not committing to something that you're. It just left you either to go to the right, to the left. Yes. Take no stand. You don't know these people. Mm. And many times, one of the most annoying things with the family is money. They will make decisions concerning investments and money. And you're supposed to flow. So if you showed support of the idea, you already hooked yourself. Yes, you did. So as much as possible, I have married you, belong there. But always ask me, do I need to be there? Always ask that question. Do I really need to show to come? It's better me to go. I can't tell you what to say. Then we discuss. Remember, we are a unit. Be before that, uh, our family is supposed to come first. Our our affairs. If we needed something now that they don't they don't think we need, but yeah. we we know we need it. We should start with it. Yes. We shall inform them later. We spent our money elsewhere. We are committed with this and that. All right. And remember, I want you to avoid building the compound. Yes, you did. <laughs> Except if you're married by last bones. In many cultures, the last bones don't move too far. Mm. But even then, I tell them, even if you're supposed to be, always have a demarcation where your wife can have a small territory. Yes. Many many times now we are living in Nairobi, so even if you are to be in the compound at home, you're hardly there. You visit occasionally. So that's a different case. But where you are living day by day should be your space. Are we together? Yeah. <laughs> so chicken and sufurias and hood, which cockroach came from which house? Uh, this one is dirty. Look at these cockroaches. And you'll be accused of weird things. And a rat <laughs> that came across it. There's rats in her house. She's very careless. That rat, the way it is fat. <laughs> <laughs> must be her house <laughs> exactly you will hear weird cases i keep yeah. hearing visit my father had, uh, my father in law had, uh, visitors and he took them to my house <laughs> and uh, showed uh, them around i always had them there when i'm not i feel in oh such a oh my god yeah as much so as good. possible make sure it's not accessible mm -hmm. only to you the keys are with you or with your servant at home mm -hmm. a person with whom you can instruct mm -hmm. on what to be done all right mm -hmm. so m most of those interferences come because you you were too eager to please to win this or win the other or win the other all right the other warning is to be depend to, to avoid the dependency more so with the parents who are financially powerful people are fighting for inheritance they want to be on their good side to be given to be allocated more great, greater inheritance michael will tell you an immunity to all chaos about families and if you apply it it's a winning code okay. build self-reliance 
Be happy and surprised if you are given an inheritance, but don't depend on it. People cut each other with the pangas. People kill each other, go to witchcraft, trying to get a portion, wishing the parent dies soon, writes the will soon. <laughs> looking to mm. When he buried my father, uh, some brothers, some step brothers were left there fighting over a very small portion of land. I'm very skeptical with the land in my place because it's not productive. There's no rain. So from the time <laughs> I was born, I've been very skeptical <laughs> why people fight over it. Yes. <laughs> it can't even feed you. Mm. <laughs> so maybe it's because I'm not agricultural. Maybe. I still I, don't I get... it's probably where you came from. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't get the greed with the land. Yes. <laughs> I mostly don't get it. Okay. I, I believe in what I sought myself. Yeah. I, 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 I keep telling my wife before I die, I want at least a million trees to my name. I want oh. to affect the climate in my place. Yes. I'm mobilizing the pre-25 class to plant a tree, each of us, mm. and grow with it. At least a tree or two. See, this tree is 10 years old. I planted it when I was 22. Now I'm 32. Look, it has evolved quietly. The way it has evolved. I watered it, watered myself. I keep, I keep telling them, let's plant a tree and have something to, br to brag about. Do instead, of, uh, without that, without planting a tree and observing it, your mind goes to other things. You plant other things mm. <laughs> that, will, that will grow to eat you up. Mm. <laughs> like wrong relationships, mm. getting a baby, doing mm. this skipping the other things that will grow to eat you up so one of the things you want to know is the family properties that you were not there <clears throat> all right i want you to stand almost aloof almost disinterested you are, of course you can't refuse an inheritance when it is given to you yeah. but you're not willing to compromise your integrity yes to go too far trying to win favor to be given what mm. come here with self-reliance in fact, Mikali will surprise you. If you start working in a determined way, you'll overtake everybody who was given a larger portion than you. That's true. Within 10 or 15 years, or because of the momentum you have built, life has momentum. If you start working slowly and learning the rules, and even if you end up suffering uh, uh, setbacks here and there, because you are determined, your speed keeps increasing. Yeah. So decide early in life that this, you are not, you are not here to be given. Mm. You are here to be given. Mm, mm, mm. And because most parents use that, that uh, it's about power and money. Families yeah. fight over that usually. They don't fight over who likes who, who likes who. It's because you are aligned with the daddy to get a bigger portion of this. Yeah. Those parents who don't have money, they think your son was this resource. And you came here to compete with them on what they were getting. It's also money. Yes. <coughs> I, I advise sons to let the girl give them money. All right? Okay. I want to give my mother, but I give my occasionally. So that I, she can know, <coughs> oh, sorry, when she asks me, I, I ask her to send. When she sends, I send. Yes. They can divide you. They can ask you and also go around and ask me. <laughs> <laughs> to avoid that, let them know we are communicating and we are one. Yeah. When they ask you, I respond. When they ask me, you respond. Mm. They come to mm. hey, these people. Uh, hey. They are one. Exactly. They're speaking the same the same language. That is why it's very important, even you, your own family, where you're coming from. Yes. Do not have too many underhanded secret dealings with them which I don't know. Okay. Because they can manipulate us. They can get to know that they can go around and actually get you to do things mm. for them. Once they learn that our goose is cooked, they know there's a possibility. Every little thing they tell you and you feel uncomfortable about it, say it. And that's why I told men to always communicate with their family, with their wife. That is the closest support you have. And you need to know what is going on. If you don't talk to her, other people are talking to her. Other things are happening. The brother-in-law is for this. The sister in law da, 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 da. Those small details, those small things are developed and they help us to change direction early yeah. in life. Yeah. And they keep asking men, it's okay to go to America, but why will I go to abroad and build money there and lose my family? What is the point of lose, build, winning money and losing my family, my soul, the people who I needed to work with? Yeah. So I, these people who do long distance marriages, I tell them, what are you trading? At what expense? If we have to stay away, let us make it as short as possible. Six yes. months, maybe a year at most. If you stay there five years, ten years, what are we sacrificing? Mm. What are we sacrificing? The first ten years of the kid are the most important for bonding. Now the father was always away. The mother was always away. What is? What are we trading? Okay, we got this money, but at what cost? This kid grew without connecting with you. Yeah. We can you want a person who value say, we would rather stay in Kenya or move to Mozambique, both of us, to fight there. Absolutely. We're taking a very short commercial break. We will be right back. Send in all your questions, triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our SMS line. Switch TV KE, Instagram, Switch TV Kenya on Facebook. We will be right back with Benjamin Zulu.
Welcome back to Full Circle with Mikali. A very good morning to you. It's Wednesday. That means that Benjamin Zulu is in the building and we are talking daughter-in-laws and the seven mistakes that they do. So we've covered a few. I, just, I don't know which, where this particular one falls into among the seven. But I've seen a meme making rounds on social media where they're saying if a mother-in-law is overly, is if the mother-in-law has a drunkard, drunkard son, then they overly love the daughter-in-law and that they will go to whatever lens they, they shower you with love uh -huh. it's obvious it's ob i told you the other day that when you realize that the, the sun is dysfunctional uh -huh. when you show up and you are put together you're well brought up you're organized you're the rescuer you're the rehabilitator <laughs> you give the boy a social image Allah. <laughs> Bibi yake anafanya sit. Usimone tu hapo. He has a good wife. <laughs> All right? And whenever the wife goes away, the family uh, gathers a family reconciliation. Very Did fast. I tell you those things are nonsense? Is? Mm. Bringing together families to discuss what happened in your bedroom. Ah. The two of you. They will never be there when you have to deal with it. Don't show up for those stupid gatherings. Don't. If you show up, you're showing up to discuss how to bring up the kids. That's all. With you aside. Yes. We are showing up to, to, to announce to them respectfully. Now that you are involved in our coming together, I wanted to tell you. <laughs> you <laughs> are telling them. Yes. yes. And if you will change, let me observe myself. Don't tell me that he has promised to change. Let me observe. By the time women walk out, they have tried so long. They have been promised and, and lied to. Nobody go. No, no sound person walks to a marriage preparing to go out. Mm -mm. We don't. We actually we get in and we start planning our lives together, investing, doing things, doing things. So by the time you see even a guy, guys who are sober, they come to the marriage ready to stay. I keep getting inboxes, men who are, who are being tormented by the wife. So the moment you see parents of the person you're about to marry calling you, you know, even sending you pocket money, so eager to pay dowry, it's because they, they're trapping you to come for the sake of their, their son. Le I told you to always baptize your mind in reality every morning. Make it your ritual. Make it your right. Make it your okay. custom. Uh -huh. When you wake up in the morning, baptize your mind in reality. What does that mean? That, that means you look at your life dispassionately with some distance and objectivity. These people call me every day, <laughs> pushing this to move so fast. Is it truly love? Reality, truth is always underneath, hidden behind appearances. Mm -hmm. We are not saying people are always pretending, but we are saying too many times there is another unstated reality, motive underneath. Okay. So I, one thing, I, 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 if you forget many other things, I ask you when you start in the morning, calibrate your mind by thinking. You know, society doesn't value thinking. Mm -hmm. When you pause and you think, we ask you, are you worried? What's wrong? What, go, go, take life easy. Thinking is okay. It's okay. <laughs> So Think. start by looking at things as they are, especially if you feel slight disturbance mm -hmm. <laughs> that you would have taken things slower if it were for you, mm -hmm. but they're hurrying up. Yeah. Always check what is happening. And I told you, always self-interest rules the world. It's necessity, survival that makes people do things in this world. Not love, not feel good feelings. Those ones are just icing of the cake. The reality, the undercurrent is that you are coming. They know you are good. Th this son does not deserve you. They have to collaborate together to get you, to trap you, get you in. And once you are in, start being told about, hey, now get this property. Oh, now get, give us a son. Oh, give us a grandchild. Oh, give us. It's, it's against your interest. It feels like you've married the community. Exactly. Or the, the family in fact, at large. In fact, sometimes I want you to go against what they wanted just to state your opinion, just to state your power. They wanted the wedding this April. Uh, I prefer July. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you have no reason to prefer it. <laughs> July is cold. <laughs> <laughs> <Is it June? laughs> just to assert that you're in charge of the process okay you want to have the direction the direct control of your destiny in this world always mikali don't surrender to other people to make decisions mm. all right yeah. now <clears throat> there's another thing once you get married you don't know how you are you know him but you don't know how he relates with his family all right yes you had tried to observe, of course, you had seen how he, uh, how he references his family when he's making decisions, but now you want to study it without controlling it too much. In fact, you can, you can observe, but don't let important things slide. Okay. Always voice your disapproval of what he's about to do. All right? Voice your otherwise opinion, but sometimes you have to wait for him to suffer consequences so that you can use that, that you had seen it, 
and you, 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 he was not in a good frame to be advised otherwise. Okay. <laughs> the way he sounded. Yes. And, and men, we do that too often. We collaborate with our relatives in this. And when it fails, our wives will tell us, I had seen this going, but because yeah. you did not seem like you're asking me too much, that you wanted my opinion, I had no otherwise. Mm -hmm. So many times you also observe me. Don't just observe my mother. Observe how my, our relationship, me and her, how we relate. Yeah. All right? And, and as I told you, don't be too eager. Okay? So what you need to do is, if, I, if you realize I'm going home too frequently, I'm spending too much, I'm, lose, I'm, I'm prioritizing this at the expense of our family life, mm -hmm. our priorities. Mm. You want to now to draw boundaries and say, now I wanted to know whether you are going to reorganize your life for us to build our own. Ah. Don't be too afraid to displace. Mm -mm. As I told you, never let people think your commitment is your slavery. You signed the papers to get married, but you only that commitment is only valid for as long as both of us are committed, right? I'm not here to build alone. All right? So sometimes my mother will become the woman in my life, and you, you are here to bear children. Yeah. You're just a uh, honorary wife. Mm. <laughs> the real woman is her. Yeah. She's on calling shots, the money, the decisions, the m my energy, my money, my everything is to her. And you, you are here to be told what we decided. Never agree to that uh, degraded position. I want you to always let people know and uh, uh, subtext and stated truth that yeah. you are fully capable of being happy without me. Mm. It sounds counter. Uh, intuitive yes. what society preaches yes but it is your only superpower your superpower is to know i'm here if we are happier together but otherwise i was happy alone i'll ah, be happy without you that's true we are doing this if it is better when we are together mm. all right we are doing life together now so let's put effort to make each other happier to build together to but the moment you start abandoning me overlooking me please remember assuming me <laughs> exactly that I was happy You alone. don't have to state it but people let always know you are not here because you're without a choice you are yes. here because you choose to yes Let's talk about confrontations. And this happens a lot in families, especially when they're all up in your business. How do you handle confrontations as a daughter-in-law? Never confront your in-laws. They okay. have no responsibility to you. They don't care. They actually see you as a threat and they can call you anything. They have nothing to lose. Remember mm. that. The guy who has not, something to lose is your husband. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So when you see that the, the daughter-in-law is coming to your house and overstaying and causing conflict, don't go to quarrel her. Quarrel the, the brother. Tell him now, these are your people. What are they doing here? All right? The same way to me, if your brother came to our house, mm. I don't have a lot of authority to push him back. No. It's you who is directly connected to. That's true. Okay? So I'll, I'll talk to you, but we'll discuss it, and I'll tell you what I think and what you should do. All right? So I, I, I don't, don't stand up to your mother-in-law. Don't stand up to your brother-in-law. Don't stand up to any, any in-law. Once they do things that hurt you, tell the person who is supposed to protect you. That's the person you signed the papers with. Remember that. And he has something to lose. These are us. What do they have to lose? Nothing. In fact, they'll be happy if you go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I'm looking at SMSs here. Zina Tiririka Tiritiri. Uh, looking good. Say hi to Zulu Mwambi. I'm taking notes. Halima from Embo. <laughs> good cool. job. Uh, thank you, Benjamin and Mikali. It's a very relevant topic. I'm examining myself. Teresia Ngede watching from Komodai Boys. Hi, Mikali. My mom in law doesn't talk much. In fact, issues concerning me and the son, she doesn't comment. And like the grandma, who gets involved, e.g., I think that's example, she tells him he must go to my people, but the mother is so silent. How do you handle her? This is now, the grandma is the one playing the role. You get it? Yes. So we're not talking about individuals here, we're talking about that position and who's playing it. Mm. Sometimes it's the sister, this yes. time it's the grandma, the, yeah. the auntie. Yeah. The powerful female who stands in that place is the one you have to address. So you're not talking about the talking to her, you're talking to him about her. You understand? Yeah. Tell him, I think your grandma is coming too close. I think she has too many opinions. I think she has too many suggestions. It's, I don't want to follow that. What are we going to do? Let's pull back. Let's do ABCD. Always, it's you and him. And if he fails, it's him you shall leave. Not the family. You are never had any contact with the family. The family. Exactly. That's true. That's true. Hi, Mukali. It's Jamal. Had this girl I was dating, she was older than me. I told her my mom does not approve of our relationship because I told her my mom hates her. I I told her I see why Jipende kids are called my mom, so she leaves because my mom's hit. No, he is immature. Let's forget about the girl. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was just like, just reading this. I'm and like, whenever you hear girl, let me also learn you to hear, to, to discern. Yes. Five madness. So it does not irritate you. Oh, G A L. <laughs> just so you know. That language, <laughs> that language, most likely is 23, she was 25. Okay. 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 Or yes. 22, 23. Yes. So don't discuss. Whenever you hear insensitive language, I told her that my mother hates this. You what should not be dating with this kind of maturity. Yeah. Go grow up fast. And I told boys to go grow a spine first of all, yes. to go find a territory so that they can bring their woman. They
this one is not, he is too much into his mother, doesn't have sensitivity language, doesn't know female language, doesn't have emotional intelligence, talking like a stupid, like a fool, hurting this, the, 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 the girl Why did well. Really. Congratulations, hate. girl, for leaving. Always walk away when you sense you're dealing with an idiot. That's what's up. Hello, Switch TV. I'm Nancy. I have boyfriend. I have a boyfriend living abroad and he has introduced me to his mom and his sister. The thing is, he keeps telling me that he wants me to be communicating to his mom regularly, which I feel uncomfortable to do at the moment. What Remember, you are a partner, not a servant. Yes. You're not being given instructions. You are settling on how you shall function as a couple. Mm. So tell him you're uncomfortable with it, period. Don't come to ask us. Why mm -hmm. do people go around asking what the, what the partner said? When, who is it to you? Is he your boss? <laughs> are he? Just say no. No, you're coming to me. Can you, what do you think? Now? What do I do? My partner? Is he your boss? <laughs> Just go talk back to him. <laughs> no. Good morning, Benja and Mikali. Ni vizuri kutetea mother in law when your hubby doesn't show some respect to her. Because I once did that and my hubby told me to leave her alone. Ni mamake and he knows how to handle her. Apa kuna shida. Once you realize your man is disrespecting the mother, you are next to be disrespected. That's true. So you're supposed to address his attitude. Yes. Not just his relationship with the mother. Mm. If he's ignoring the mother and you feel, you feel like you're supposed to be, take your position. Tell them, I think you're the one who's wrong. Mm -hmm. I think, state your position and leave it there. But that's so true. If you can talk badly to your mom, then what makes you think that he can't talk exactly. badly to you? Don't just defend the mother, challenge no. him. How come yeah. you can behave that way? Yeah. How come? How are you? That being? is unacceptable. Thank you. Terrible. Hi, Kisonga. Hello, Mikali. I'm in a relationship with a guy who has got a bad relationship with a mother. Please define bad if you can. Um, so her mother keeps looking for me to communicate to communicate to me about their quarrels. So I don't understand. And the man is not accepting the accusations. He is the firstborn. Sometimes some mothers, it's true, they can have a difficult relationship. She has not given us details. We don't know who is more controlling, who is evasive or what. Yeah. But generally, it's a girl, don't get in between them. Don't. Generally, don't. You just showed up. These guys have been had a relationship since birth. And there could be a lot of things you don't know. That's true. You learn some things 20 years down the line. Oh, we never knew this child is really belonging to not easy. Some family things are too dark. <laughs> There's some things we can you don't get into. Yeah. They're, they're too complete. It's after a person dies that you hear, oh my God, another person shows up. Eh, I'm sorry to announce, so, eh, eh, I am the child too. You hear things that shock mm. you that you never had for 20 years. Mm. So don't get in. Whether they are happy or they are conflicting, you deal with your man. Check his part, which advise him. Now you are his friend. Tell him what you think. If he is blocking that side, leave it first. Buy your time. When you can go home, I told girls the other day, when you're going home, do what you'd have done with a woman who is on the position of your mother. Take her a lesson, a gift, the same way you've done to your mother. But as we said, maintain that pull an air of dignity and distance. Don't get too close. Don't get too ill. But again, you're not, they can see you are a generous person. You're mature. You listen. And you brought a gift to mom because you are coming home to mom. You brought dad some coat or some tie or something. You gave them a tip. And yeah, thank you so much and have a good day. That's all. They, they left. This person is nice, but oh my God, what is he doing? Oh, you wonder. Mm. That part. May, be nice and cautious, but also a little mysterious. They should not know what you're thinking or what you're feeling. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Um, tell Zulu next time. I uh, have never had you guys talk about how to deal with women older than the husband. Please find time to talk about it. Oh, oh, is it a woman or a man? Ajaji <laughs> tambulish. So why are you dealing Lakini with them? Lakini anataka tuongelele women who are older. And why, why are you dealing with her? You know, I'm, was, I'm asking, why is it important for, for the, the asker? Mm. Because if you are the man to asking... Ask her. <laughs> We if you are the one asking, we want to know who are, how are you related to the one. Yes. And you chose them. Yes. Even if they are older, you did not choose them because of you chose them because they are nice to you, you flow yes. well. So yes. why where where is the problem here? Relationships mm. are voluntary things. <laughs> you pick it, you ask us a few things how to deal with it because you really love the woman. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you love her, she's not your master or dominating over you or your boss. This is partnership. This is love affairs. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Hi. Hi Mikali, in my opinion, I think that also the mother-in-law, they think they know what is right for the son's decision to choose a wife. Yeah, of course. Remember this is the son to mm. this woman. Yes. <laughs> Remember that. That's true. She has a position in this man's life that will never be taken away. Mm. You're not trying to take him away from, you're, you're, you're trying to secure your place and le let him continue relating. In fact, sometimes it's my wife who helps me relate better than my mother by telling me how women would wish to be treated. Ah, she is a woman. Yeah. 
She tells me this will be good for her. And she'll keep quiet. My mother will think, oh, my son. And in reality, it's her who is helping me. But she's doing it behind the scenes. She's my helper, even in this context. <laughs> so your girl was, will also think from the mother's point of view. Another another skill as a, as a daughter-in-law is to try to put yourself in the position of your mother-in-law. Mm. You'll know the dynamics she's dealing with. And you'll be able to understand her behavior and calibrate your reactions, knowing what she has to deal with. All yes, right? yes. Sometimes your husband is the only financier to that home. And many phone calls are coming asking for money. Many of the requests are coming asking for money. So sometimes you have to know that the situation at home is, sometimes you understand, does not mean you compromise, but means you know where they are coming from. Absolutely. And you know how to calibrate. Yes. All right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Zulu kuna mtu anasema, usi jam sana. <laughs> Whenever I hear that. Whenever I hear that, <laughs> it's usually a preamble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for their question. Triple one, triple four, triple one. Do you want me to two up? It's a preamble. I don't know. my hello. How do you handle the pressure of your wife's family, whom they don't want you to be with their daughter? Oh, this is a man, and this is a different dimension from. Where what is the pressure? How about? is it reaching you? Mm. Mm. Are they calling you? Block them. Are they mm -hmm. sending a person warn them? Don't talk to me about that next time. Mm -hmm. Is it coming from the girl being troubled and feeling conflicted? Comforter, you are the one I want. Yeah. All right. After you choose your woman, remember this family will become history now. We have a future to build on our own. All right. Yeah. So it's true. Many families, I, I taught people about narcissistic families. Sometimes mm -hmm. some families are narcissistic, selfish, insensitive, tormenting the one who is who, who they're labeling black god, uh, black sheep. And actually is the one who is the sober one. Yeah. That could be the girl you're marrying. And they mm. hate it that she's marrying a good man. Yeah. They hate it. So once you've established you have a good woman, and I keep telling men, good women are so hard to come by. Once you come across one man, don't let her go. Absolutely. And but they, uh, there's a one here. Oh, oh, okay, where are you guys? Mikali, <laughs> 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 I was still in the market, I would have demonstrated to these guys what I keep telling them. <laughs> where are these all lazy and searching? Good women are so hard. When one shows up in the service, all the dogs should run in that direction. The first one to arrive grabs the meat and runs. What is the what's the problem with Kenyan men? They are, going, <laughs> wait, wait, they are going to university kids who are tormenting them to death. Mwikalia day doesn't go when I don't have two guys who are being tormented to death by these pre-25 girls. Uh -huh. Another one was killed and it was an army guy. Yeah. Can you imagine you have dodged bullets and you are killed in your house by an unarmed woman mm. because you don't perceive her as a threat? Mm. The pre-25 story again. Mm. So for me, I want to invite men, invite men. If this you found a good woman and the family is toxic, yeah. defend her now. Prove to her that you are here to stand with her and block that family away. Way. When she guides you, sometimes you take the diary to, diary to an uncle. You go to a grandma. When mm. she has to visit home, she will tell you who she's comfortable visiting. Defend your woman and she'll make you stand tall. All oh, men who thrive in this world is the, the undercurrent is the woman who's supporting her. Absolutely. And she's supporting because of the way she knows you are for her. So don't let anybody come in between men. Stand with that girl. I love it. That's powerful, Zulu. It's Jane from Matu. I said that your topic is much helpful because you're talking of what actually happens to many families and make the families to be uh, and make the families to be real. Say hi to Benjamin. Hi. Mr. Sana. Cool. And I think it's a very important conversation. What happens then when the woman sometimes is listening to her family that are saying that this man shouldn't or probably you're too scared to make this decision and there's always this conversation of you're getting married without our blessings that your marriage will be doomed and stuff like that <laughs> i know those threats yes. because if you find a good guy but your parents believe that tribe is bad mm. that community mm. is bad mm. there's a person you're marrying i hear stories about their grandmother was in prison you hear stories but yeah. you realize this guy is good for me you must be mature and state your position to them Okay. Thank you for your opinion, but I've decided this is my decision. Yes. By the way, can we announce to all that it's hard to find families and relatives who support you every day. I have not met people who say, our families are so happy to see us get married. You'll still find elements. <laughs> yes. <laughs> elements. So you must be decisive and, and strong-willed to decide this is what I want. Absolutely. Yes. One last question before I let you go. Morning, Switch. I have a challenge in calling my in-laws, but my dad-in-law keeps on calling me and is ever asking why I'm not communicating. My question is, should I keep on calling them if I actually have nothing to Is it say? a man or woman? Or this, I think, I think it's a woman. All I right. think it is. I think, listen, I, I don't expect my in-laws to be calling me and demanding constant communication. Mm -hmm. Or I will be checking on them. I cannot disappear on them. They are family now, of course. Yes. We are now, uh, we have, you know, we have that extended family relationship. So I don't disappear on them fully. But constant, like daily communication is not practical unless yeah. we are living in the same space. Mm. So for me, I want to strongly recommend that 
put boundaries and show what is reasonable, what you can do and what you cannot do. I'm also communicated using their child, not you. Let them, explain to them. I know that mom is getting irritated that I don't quote, da, da, da. I, 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 from where I come, you can always quote your culture as okay. a hiding place. Yeah. But from where I come from, there's some distance between in-laws, <laughs> uh, because our great, great, grandma commanded. <laughs> Benjamin Zulu KE 0701299333. Thank you, Zulu, for coming through. Always Most a welcome. pleasure. We're taking a very short commercial break. We will be right back. This is Full Circle with Mukali. <laughs>